period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. They're underway here in the third, and this could come down to last shot wins. Tosses it on to Rosselman. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Picked up along the wall by Miller. Backhander in front. Nice save from point blank range. And sends it just out of reach. Hucks it across the blue line. Kess has been whacked on the play. The official's arm is up in the air. Here comes the official's decision. The Blue Jackets don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Guys, with the first penalty kill of the night here, there's not too much we should be concerned about. They know how to get things done. They can shut it down. This PK unit is ranked top 10 in the league, and let's just see what happens here. Jenner's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Play whistle dead as the puck goes into the bench, and I think that woke up a few players. Miller's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Canucks win the faceoff. Stones him on the play! And now he tries to get it across, trying to shake loose. He's in! Scores! Clinical! The Blue Jackets have jumped out to a one-goal lead here in this third. Uh, pretty clear this game's not going to spread out at all. Two very equal teams battling it out. And now it's grabbed by Myers. Puck picked up by Besser. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Columbus gets a hold of the puck shorthanded. Nice job to escape the zone. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Besser. Looks to set up at the point now. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Great reach with the stick by Goodbranson. Roslovic's time is almost done. The Canucks certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the shorthanded goal. A sloppy power play, and they pay for it. To his teammate! Big time save by Merzlikens! He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Roslovic's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Horvath. Handles it along the blue line. He scores! Now you got to keep clawing back. Trailing this game to get the equalizer. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a tie game. The Canucks win the draw here in the neutral zone. Shot! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? The Blue Jackets gain possession. Takes the bank pass feed. Bjorkstrand's usually a part of a winning strategy for their team. He hasn't generated anything offensively, yet here they are in a pretty decent spot. Columbus has it against the half wall. Taken by Peake. Moves it to Jenner. Sends the pass over. Receives the pass. No room for that one to get through. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Scooped up along the wall by McAvoy. The Blue Jackets look to start the transition game. And now he passes up to Nyfisk. Nice zone entry from the left. Both sides digging into that puck along the wall. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. A chance! Oh, what a save by Merce Leakins! 
Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Blue Jackets are out to the box. Interference the call. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. I like what they've done on the power play previously here, and so they really want to duplicate what they've done. They have to be aware the penalty killers will probably change approach. They have to be sharp. Enough. Made the stop on that play. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Nothing doing on that. The Canucks played along the wing. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Into the attacking area from the left side. Stopped by the goaltender. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Long jam in front. That's broken up. There's the whistle and here's the call. This is always a fine line penalty. You're allowed a little interference, just not that much. They'll play some four on four. The last couple of years, we've seen different strategy four on four come into the game. What is apparent when you get the puck, you keep it. You'll move it and hold it till the great chance opens up. Moves it quickly over to Horvath. Goes right to the crease. Oh, I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. The Canucks have gone up by one here in this third. Deserving the lead, now you have to protect it or expand upon it as the finish line's not that far away. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck off the draw. Columbus goes to work on the power play with their man stepping out of the box. And he turns that one aside. Scores! And the power play goal puts us back to a tie game. All that work to try and get even, but you need the power play to help you out once in a while. They were sharp, efficient, and now this game is tied with that power play marker. Past the midway mark of the frame, it's all tied up. The Blue Jackets win it. Sends a pass over. The Canucks have it from their own end. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck along the boards. What a wild offensive night this has been. The real crazy part is both teams are in on it. It's no runaway. Somebody is going to score a couple of goals before the end of this, and that's going to be the difference. Quick pass to chase on. Here's a chance. Good save. Merce Lickens has the puck, and he'll wait for the faceoff. I think that's a pretty heady play. There's been a little bit of scramble around him, and he jumps on it. They can get reorganized. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. From the top of the offensive zone here. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. The Blue Jackets play it along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And that's blocked from someone in front. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Great reach with the poke check. And the puck's knocked loose. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The coach just looks skyward as his team's taken its third penalty of this period. team's unit and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to get them on the board here guys Jenner's won it off the face off 
Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Across the line and on the attack. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Jenner's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Vancouver's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Here's a shot. Point blank stopped by Merzlikens. The goalie reads his play really well. He gets out aggressively to make the save. That's a low slot shot. It happens. And that power play has given them a one goal lead. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. They've got numbers here. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Shen. Here's a short pass to Garland. The Canucks take it along the wall. Columbus will play it from behind the net. Sends it over to Bjorkstrand. Columbus plays it along the wing. Can't make the connection on the pass. Grabbed along the board by Horvath. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Manages to hang on. And he regains control of the puck. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Back to the blue line. And that doesn't reach the net. Columbus plays it against the boards. Vancouver's in transition. Takes it to the front. Great stop by Merzlikens. That happened so quickly, that low slot shot. The goaltender's in position and he makes the save. Columbus will play the puck from the corner. Quick feed to McAvoy. Moves the puck. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Stones him in front. That's an important stop for the goalie. Not only does he make the save, but because he catches it, he kills the play. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Dickinson's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. From a bad angle, Merce Lickens feels the need to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Well, this game is, is starting to run itself down towards the end. A, a mistake now would be a dangerous one. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Dickinson's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Shot! Crowds him with the glove. Merce Lickens is going to wait for a breather as he swallows up the puck. Well, now everybody can get themselves back to their square one position, and it was starting to look a little ragged in the defensive zone. It's a good play by the goaltender. Johnson's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Through pass ahead. Hangs on to the puck. Columbus trailing here has pulled the goaltender and the extra attackers now out of the ice. Vancouver's got the puck. Passes ahead from the right side. But, and that's it. Thinking you probably parted for your two. All of them. <laughs> Puck is dropped and play resumes. Takes the feed. Shot. Wow! What a stop by Tim And it is all in this one. Columbus is pretty much in this one right up until the end, but they still fall on the wrong side of the score. They chase in the game. You chase it, you chase it. Eventually, you've got to take some big gambles. One of them, of course, is the age-old try for the goalie. It just didn't work. 